The delivery and installation of a SPAR platform is relatively simple in principle, but experienced handling and oversight ensures that the process goes smoothly without incidents or unnecessary complications. With so much riding on a successful installation, it's comforting to know that Technip is there to help. The SPAR's last stop on the way to its destination is the final outfitting yard, where the transport vessel is moored alongside the quay. After the vessel and its cargo are cleared by customs, the ship loose items and transportation supports are offloaded. When ready, the transport vessel takes on ballast, settling in the water until the spar hull floats freely on its own. If necessary, a float-off barge may be positioned under the spar's soft tank to add buoyancy. The hull is then maneuvered away from the vessel by tugs and moored against the key. With the spar floating quayside, final delivery preparations begin. If required, the hull can be rotated to facilitate the removal of any remaining transportation supports and the installation of belly strakes. The belly strake panels arrived as ship loose items on the main deck of the transportation vessel. At this point, they are lifted into place and welded to the hull. After the belly strakes are installed, the hull is rotated back to its normal floating condition and prepared for handover. When ready, tugs wet tow the spar away from the key to its destination in deep water. Prior to the spar's arrival on site, piles are installed in the seabed to provide anchor points for its mooring lines. The spar is upended when it reaches the correct location. First, the soft tank is flooded by removing the ripout plugs. After the soft tank is flooded, water is pumped into the hard tank to bring the spar to its final upright position. The spar is made storm safe with the installation of the first three or four mooring lines. After the rest of the mooring lines have been properly installed and secured, fixed ballast is added to the soft tank. If polyester mooring lines are used, they can be pre-stretched at this point. The last major component to be installed is the top sides facility. Top sides are constructed separately and brought to the site after the spar is in position. Top sides can be installed by float over or heavy lift. Steel catenary risers can be installed before or after the top sides are in place. Riser pipes can be laid in a variety of methods, including prelay, layaway, and lay towards. The pipes are then picked up and either hung off the spar's porches or pulled through pull tubes. Dry tree riser supports, such as buoyancy cans and tensioners, are normally installed before the top sides. Top tensioned risers are run from the drilling rig after the top sides and rig are in place and commissioned. Technip has a proven track record for delivering state-of-the-art drilling and production platforms on the frontiers of oil and gas development.